Hey guys, it's your girl Ashley here and I'm here with a quick little video for you. I just got done food shopping with my mom. My hair was kind of cute, but the wind kind of like messed it up a little bit because it's really windy so it's not as cute, but I tried. I tried to do a little cute like half up, half down space buns. Let me know if you like it. Um, I just wanted to come in here. I got a quick stuff, quick stuff from Amazon, so I wanted to show it to you guys real quick for just to have a video up for you guys. Um, I am reading. My books are over there, but I am reading uh, Hotel Magnifico. I think is what it's called, or Magnifique. Um, almost done with this. I have, I think, one more, like, one more chapter. I think I have left of this. Liking it a lot. I'm also buddy reading with my friends Andrea, Vanessa, and Lori. Uh, her channel is The Chatty Bookworm on here. We are reading Hotel Horror. Um, I like that so far. So it's pretty good and pretty creepy. Um, kind of gives you like, uh, what's the vibe I'm thinking about? Um, hotel, like, not ho not hotel, but American Horror Story. That's what I'm trying to think of. Kind of gives you those kind of vibes. So... We're reading that or liking it um i've been a little bit behind on reading because i haven't felt good we having some severe severe migraines today i had one they got it subsided so i'm not as bad but let's get into what you guys want to see um first up i got these cute little amazon um airpod cases got this cute little pink one and today that this one came in this is a little rainbow one really cute two piece silicone uh, one piece silicones i like the one pieces because you don't have to worry about the other piece coming off or anything this is really nice. I think it was like five bucks. Um, I meant to do a video on how to find stuff on, 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 on Amazon because a lot of people say I find cute stuff. Like I found this case was like five bucks on Amazon and it's pink. Uh, this case here was three dollars on Amazon and sparkly and like and quilted. I find these things because I always type in whatever I'm looking for. So if I'm looking for like cell phone case, I put cell phone case under $10, cell phone case under $5, and it brings up a whole list. Sometimes they're more expensive, so you're gonna like kind of like sort of a, a little bit, but they're not as bad to find. I, that's how I find almost all my cute stuff. My AirPod cases, my cell phone cases. I try not to spend a lot of money on stuff, so that's how I do it. So if you need any more help, just let me know. But yeah, well, let's get into the haul. Um, I don't think everything is in here. So I may do a part two for this, so we'll see. But, let's get into it. Alright, so let me put these... I do know there's another one coming through my regular mail. I think this is just three books. And I believe I ordered... Yeah, so there's a couple more books coming. Um, I ordered like a total of like six or seven. Um, so they'll be here. I'll do a part two for you. But part one... Um, I am really trying to get into middle grade and middle grade books are literally so cheap like I can't believe I had Amazon credit I had like $15 I think it was on no I had uh almost $30 on Amazon credit if I was to get an adult book like a romance book that's 15 bucks I could maybe get away buying two maybe depends um if it was like an adult book then I'm probably only going to be able to buy one I was able to get six books in an airpod case like it's crazy the prices uh this book was six bucks and this is the, the dreadful tale of prosper reading uh by alexander brocken and this is basically about a boy who he kind of has like a demon growing inside of him because of a family curse and i heard it's funny and cute and i got uh, most of these recommendations from either uh oh my god why can't i think of her name I can't think of her name now. Oh my goodness. I'll, ha I'll have to look it up because I can't think of her name. But her and then uh, How to Train Your Gavin, I got them from. I can't, why can I not remember her name? I feel so bad. But I got recommendations from her too on, on, those, on those books. Then I got this one. I guess this is going to be a Netflix film or it is a Netflix film. I don't know. I can't take this sticker off, which makes me kind of sad. And it's The School for Good and Evil. This book was four bucks. So I got that. And it's about two girls who end up going to school for good and evil. The one that is groomed to be a princess and she, that's what she wants to be, gets sent to the evil school. And the evil girl who's like 
gothic, black hair, like just not princessy. She goes to the princessy school, so I heard it's really good. And it's four bucks, and it says it's on Netflix, so I'll have to check it out. Let's get that. And then the last book I got was The Land of Stories by Chris Colford, The Wishing Spell. Um, I know, all I know about it is Chris Colford wrote it, which is the guy right here from Glee, and I love Glee. And this is about two kids, I think they're twins, yeah, two twins fall into a storybook and have to go on this adventure, and it sounds so good. And honestly, I've been really in the mood for just quick reads, and reads we don't have to, like, think about it. And middle grade seems to be, that's going to be the, the answer for me. Um, I do have a couple more books coming, so like I said, I'll do part two. Hopefully they come up to. They hope. Ugh, I can't talk. Hopefully they come tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like this video. It's really quick, and I'm gonna go take off my makeup and my hair because my hair is killing me. And I'll talk to you guys later. Like I always say, make love my heart when you can't you. Bye guys. Hey guys, welcome to part two of my Amazon middle grade book haul. I just got my books in, so I wanted to show it to you guys real quick. Um, I look like a mess today because I'm just chilling in the house, relaxing. But the first book I got was Kiki's Delivery Service by Eco. I'm not gonna say the name because I'm gonna butcher it. But hold on, I'm playing Xbox in my screen. Right there we go. Um, and this is based on the animated film. This is what inspired the animated film. I love the animated film. I've watched it like three times now. It's really really good. So I can't wait to read it. I do think I think it's illustrations at each chapter. I think. Let me see. Yeah, there's some illustrations in here too, like this, this. So I really can't wait to read this. So I got that. And then I got, again, uh, How to Train Your Gavin. I got all these recommendations from him because I watched his videos and he reads a lot of middle grade. And I'm new to this series, like new to this genre. So I wanted to see what he liked. So I got Iron Trials by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare. This is the Magistrum series. This is basically about a kid who if i remember correctly let's see most kids would do anything to pass the iron trials not callum hunt he wants to fail all his life callum has been warned by his father to stay away from magic if he succeeds at the iron trials and admits and it is admitted into the magisterium he is sure it can only mean bad things for him so he tries his best to do his worst and fails at failing now the magisterium awaits him it's a place that's both sensual and sinister with dark ties to his past and twisted path to the future, the Iron Trials is just the beginning for the biggest test is still to come. So it's sounding like kind of dark a little bit. I do like more darker middle grade. So I'm really excited to read that. And the last one I got was Eva Evergreen Semi-Magical Witch by Julie Abe. It says sometimes all you need is a pinch of magic. This, they said it, uh, Gavin said if you like Kiki's Delivery Service, so it's kind of like this. Um, it looks really cute. I'm not going to lie. Um, let me see if I can find a picture. Like the chapter heads are all so cute. And I love witchy books. So I cannot wait to read this. Um, and I'll just give you a little bit of what it's about. It says requirements to pass the novice quest. One, help your town do good all around. Two, live there for one moon and don't leave too soon. Three, fly by broomsticks, the easiest trick. Ava Evergreen is determined to earn the rank of novice witch before her 13th birthday. If she doesn't, she'll lose her magic forever. For most young witches and wizards, it's a simple test. The only problem is Eva only has a pinch of magic. She, summon, she summons heads of cabbage instead of flowers, gets a sunburn instead of calling down rain, and to add insult to injury, whether she overuses her magic, she, when she overuses her magic, she falls asleep. When she lands in the tranqu tranquilly, tranquil, coastal town of Atera, uh, I think it is, the residents accept a, pow expect a powerful witch, not a semi-magical girl. So Eve comes up with a plan. Set up a magical repair shop to help and prove that she's worthy. She may have more blood than magic in her veins, but her semi-magical fixes repaired the lives of townspeople in ways they never could have imagined. But will Eve's bit of magic be enough when the biggest magical storm in history threatens the town she's grown to love? So does that not sound so cute and good? I can't wait to read it. The next one I think in the series is called 
Eva Evergreen and the Cursed Witch. But this looks so cute. And again, I'm really liking all these like middle grade books, the covers and the stuff. Let's just, I can't wait to read them all. But yeah, this is my part two. So I just want to tell you guys, um, I will be doing a book haul, an April book haul. Because again, your girl went crazy. Every time I say I'm not going to go crazy, I go crazy. Um, I have my dentist appointment Monday. So probably within that week of the 25th is when you will see a book haul from me. I just finished reading. I think I told you I was reading in the first floor, on the first part of this. Uh, the Hotel uh, Manif Magnifico, I can never say it right, by Emily J. Taylor. I just finished this, five stars, so good. The cover is beautiful. Don't get fooled, it's not a very lighthearted story. It's very dark and sinister and I loved it. So definitely check out that book. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick a little haul. Like I always say, I'm a real hard me, Bye, guys.